Hi everyone, this is JP LaForest from Studio JPEG. And in this video, I will show you how to connect the Zoom H4n as an audio interface via USB. So that way you can use it not only as a field recorder, but also you can use it to record audio on your computer. So the basic is quite simple using the USB cable that came with it, or it's the same cable that comes with the Canyon Rebel T2i camera. You plug it in there and you plug it in the USB port. And automatically the Zoom H4n will detect that you plugged it in and it will give you the options to select in audio interface, you can select their frequency or you can connect. So I'm going to do connect and the laptop is going to automatically detect it. And it usually only takes a few seconds. So there we go. Once you are connected, as usual, you have the record level button here that you can use and you have full access to your built-in microphones or you can plug in extra microphones, either XLR or quarter inch, or you can plug in the 3.5 millimeter microphones over here and you have full access on the volume. Once you go in the menu, you'll see the menu is quite simplified. You have effect, so you can put effects on and off. Anything from reverb to compressor and anything else that the Zoom can do. You do have access to your tuner. Uh, you have monitor on and off. What this does, if you put monitor on, then it will send out the audio through the little uh, headphone or line out here. And you also have access to your phantom power on and off and your plug-in power on and off. And finally, you have the disconnect button once you're done. So now that I have the monitor turned on, I can plug in my headphones. And using the volume on the side here, I can control the volume going out to the headphone. To control the volume going out to the laptop itself, you will use, need to use the record level here. This one only controls for this little plug here. It does not control for the USB volume. And once you are done with your recordings, you can go in the menu. The last option is disconnect. It's going to ask you if you are sure. You select yes. And it saves the data. And there you have it. Your Zoom is disconnected and you are ready to turn it off or to pull off the plug. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting. As usual, please hit the subscribe button or the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will do my best to address them. And I'll see you next time.